Hey Finksters and welcome to this uh, video about the uh, publish subscribe system with PyPubSub. So PyPubSub is a Python library and it will uh, help you to create the publish subscribe pattern in the Python uh, framework. So, uh, so, so I think it's a very very interesting uh, topic and very undervalued actually uh, because many people just don't know about publish subscribe and maybe they have heard publish subscribe say in their studies studying computer science or related topics but they don't really use it in a practical uh, setting but in many instances publish subscribe is is like the um it's a very natural way of uh, communication so let's open a drawing board and uh, and see so like conceptually what is the idea so the idea is say you have two persons like uh, Bob and Alice and both both persons are interested in different topics yeah say um, Alice is interested in uh, football like let's let's make this so like just assume this is a football and Bob is interested also in football so Bob is interested in football. Bob wants to read news about football. Alice wants uh, wants to read uh, news about football. So both like subscribe to a, say a news service um, about football. But then Bob also uh, subscribes to say uh, the chess news service. Okay, so like this is now a chess pawn. <laughs> Just assume I can draw. Okay, so like uh, this is this is chess. Okay, so we have two topics. Bob subscribes to both topics. Bob wants to know, wants to read all news about chess, and uh, Alice wants to read um, news about uh, uh, only football. And Bob also about football. Okay, so and now you, so like these are the subscribers. Okay, in the publish subscribe pattern, these are the su sub subscribers. They subscribe to some news, to some services, and now you may have a publisher. This is a pub uh, part. Yeah, so you have a publisher, and you have a publisher who uh, say published about uh, football so the publisher will just send messages to the football conceptual to the football um, um, agent and the football agent will then just push the messages to all subscribers and so in this case uh, it pushed the message to Alice and Bob who have both registered for for football news okay but then the there may be another publisher or the same publisher who actually also write articles about chess, so both may publish to, to articles to chess, but now as only Bob has subscribed to chess services, only Bob will receive messages about chess and Alice won't. Okay, And this way you can create your own, like you can decouple the senders and receivers of the messages, because now really the publishers, they don't have to know about the um, subscribers, they don't have to know about like the email addresses of the subscribers, they don't have like, for example in Europe you have the general data protection law, so actually you don't want to give out the data to the to the publishers and uh, subscribers, they, they are really privacy aware, so maybe a subscriber, they only trust the PubSub middleware, this is called the middleware because it's between, it's a a message com the communication uh, framework that sits between the publishers and the subscribers and only the middleware knows the um, um, knows knows about the, um, the addresses or locations or data of the subscribers and the publishers but the publishers don't know about the subscribers so this way you can decouple senders from uh, receivers of messages okay it's a very natural uh, way of communication uh, it has a lot of advantages and and the, and um, and the adv big advantage of senders and receivers being decoupled is that receivers don't have to track all the uh, uh, senders don't have to track all the uh, re the data from receivers. They may not even be allowed to do this. Okay, and how can you create uh, your own publish subscribe middleware in Python? Um, so let's close this down and have uh, maybe a practical example. Um, you can simply. So I have already prepared some code. So basically, um, you can use the PubSub. Um, actually, it's called Py PubSub library. Okay, so and to install the library. Just here's what I have done. I have just uh, issued pip 3.7 for for the Python version I was I was running on this uh, system. So pip install pi pubs up. So you just type in this into your command line into your shell. Then it installs the um, pi pubs up library and now and then you can use it uh, like this in uh, in Python. So you can do from pubs up import pub and now you can use pubs up way of communication. Okay, so how does it work? 
So actually, you have the you have the subscribers. They are called listeners in the PyPub uh, system. So you, the listeners are just callables. So they are functions, and these functions are called each time. So a listener registers for a topic. Yeah, as you have seen in in the drawing I I, sh I showed you in a, mo a moment before, you have like Alice and Bob. Alice listens to some news. So both say for each listeners, the function body consists of three print statement and they receive some data. And the data, the, like the data is a dictionary. So they can, for example, call the dictionary on the key topic and they can call dictionary on the key news. So give me the value associated to the key news and give me the data, the um, value associated to the topic. And you can like create your own your own uh, your own data here. Uh, you can pass your own data into the callable. So I just called it arc. You could call it uh, whatever you want. Okay. So in this way, like this is a message actually the um, the listeners receive who subscribe to a certain topic. Okay. And so um, and and in this in this case we just print the message. But you can do some further processing. So these are these are called the uh, listener callback functions because they are called for each each time a message is sent to a listener. Okay, but then you also need to register the in the the listeners to a certain topic, okay? And and here's here's where we are doing this. So, uh, we send uh, we call the function pub.subscribe and the first one uh, is the function, the callable that that is the listener. So this is the listener and we register the listener here. It, it, the only requirement uh, is that your function that listens to a certain topic and uh, the second argument of the pub.subscribe function is the topic it listens to. Okay, so in here for example Alice listens to all topics regarding football and chess and Bob listens to all topics regarding football. Okay, so that's it. So now they have registered their interest in different topics and um, use the middleware to, to do this. Okay, and now if you want to like as a as a sender or publisher um, if you want to send a message to all um, listeners that have subscribed to a certain topic, you simply call pub.send message and you, you send a message to the topic, football, like this. Yeah? So here you, you don't need even like separately define the topic. You just have um, listeners who, who um, listen to certain topics, just string values passed into the uh, pub.subscribe function. And then you have the send message function that simply um, sends to this same topic. Okay, so if if you send a message to football, then Bob and Alice's uh, listener fu functions will be executed. If you send a message to the topic chess, then only Alice's listener function will be executed. Okay, and then what data is passed into the listener function? So actually, we pass. So this is a, this is the name of the listener function, and we pass the. We create a new dictionary here. We set like the, we set the name of the dictionary to arc. This is our keyword argument, and this is the exact keyword argument that is passed into the listener function. Okay. So our second, so a message consists of a topic and the data payload. So the payload of the message, what is put into the into the message, and um, this payload here uses the keyword argument that is also used here in the listener um, uh, function definition okay so you have so they expect the dictionary and this is where you define the dictionary actually to send a message okay so the message is nothing but say a headline uh, let's call this headline otherwise we have too too many uh, notions of topic here <laughs> okay so we call this headline and then we simply uh, so both print the headline and the news body Okay, and you and here we define the headline and the news body. So, for example, the headline may be Ronaldo, and the news would maybe sold for one million. And then here we have a headline AI, and the news body is Alpha Zero beats Grandmaster Carlson. Okay, so we have different. So now we can have different uh, different um, news items with headlines um, sent to different uh, topics, and we can have receivers like thousands of receivers even uh, listening to, to a combination to one or multiple or even zero uh, topics, and they would will receive all messages uh, to the, those topics. Okay, and this is like it's a very common, very good practice to decouple sender and receiver of messages. Okay, so and if we run the code, we see the following output: Alice receives news about Ronaldo. Like this is a message body. This is the message headline, and Bob actually receives the same message. Okay, so here Bob, listener Bob, um, receives this same message as as Alice. Okay, so both receive the same message because both have registered their interest regarding football. 
Um, but then Alice also receives messages um, about chess because Alice has registered her inter interest in chess here. Okay, so we have registered listener Alice has registered the interest in chess uh, like this. Okay, so therefore Alice also receives the second message that is regarding uh, chess. Okay, and this is how you can create your own simple publish subscribe system. You uh, create the listeners. Um, you set the data, the, uh, the payload of the message, and then you subscribe uh, the listeners to certain topics. You can define arbitrary topic names here. And uh, finally, you can send messages uh, consisting of a topic and a payload. Okay, payload is usually a dictionary where you can store arbitrary number, arbitrary data. So you could also like add a third data item uh, like this, um, say date, like this is uh, maybe some months or so we send the data, something like this. So we can also like we can here add our custom values or data items to the to the dictionary and now we can here print arc date for both messages as well okay so something like this you can do you can easily like customize the messages you send to the receivers okay so and if you run this code you can you see that part of the message now is also the date item okay so this way you can like customize everything you can customize the topics you can customize the uh, payload the data of the messages you can customize the different publishers and uh, where they send messages and you can like create your own like um, high level model of a publish subscribe system or even create like a news aggregator or something uh, something like this in python so it's a very powerful communication concept and it's very easy to use with uh, with a simple pip installation routine and then importing importing it with this simple statement okay thanks for listening to this video and yeah see you in the next video bye